today going to do a very very simple makeup, but very how to say, very romantic look as well, and also emphasize your eye shape. Very easy to achieve just by using one palette. You guys probably seen this post on my Instagram. It's from a Hold Life. I really really like this palette. It is the palette four zero three. Very pretty. I've been using it quite often recently. It's just a little bit difficult to open. The color literally represents the name of this palette. I think it's called Cherry Blossoms. Oh, the color is literally like very lovely floral color, but has good amount and just about the right amount of gray in there. It's beautiful. And recently, I've seen so many uh, makeup tips on TikTok as well, and I've learned a very simple, easy one, but to give you a very soft, romantic, summery look. Keep on watching. Today's focus is on the um, eye look, so. And it's not complicated. So I'm going to quickly finish the face base. If we apply the concealers before the foundation, just remember we only kind of tap the foundation in. Don't grab, don't tap and grab because that going to remove the concealers that you applied earlier. Foundation, I'm using Kato Kato, cheese foundation. <laughs> foundation is down, then just get some powder on, going to use the fluorescent translucent powder. Uh, this one is number one. The blurring effect is really good, but uh, doesn't last long as number three. Let me do half. Can you guys see the difference? But for today's purpose, it's perfect. Have an even skin tone, that's most important. If you have, you know, a little bit of freckles, totally fine. Comes to this palette. Today we do the blush and the eye looks together. Going to use this color. There is a name for it. Crush On. This lovely one. It is like a um, lovely soft petal color. Light handed a little bit, yeah? We start from, let me grab a mirror as well. We start from out corner doing like a C, then extend eyeshadow from here to the blush position. Just a swip on, no need to think too much. That's the beauty of this makeup techniques that, you know, you don't need to be that precise or feel like it's gonna get matte. Mm, no, it won't. So from down here, if you feel start from out corner, the color can get a little bit too strong. Then you start from the blush area. Then moving upwards. Then do a good connection. Very easy, right? And then if you prefer some matte eye look, then that's about it. You can do eyeliner and I'll show you afterwards. If you like a little bit of bling, you can also add a little bit of glitters on that. In here, the both glitters in this palette are oh, really, really pretty. Very, very good quality. See, there's two. Very pretty, especially this one. It's just a very light base color, but it has a beautiful sparkle dust on there. Then I just use this 
lead to color. Just dot a little bit from middle up down, then spread closer to the lash line, and a little bit towards inner corner. Like that. And then we do the eyeliner. Eyeliner is quite important because if you use it the right, it can very much adjust your eye shape. If you guys look at my eye shape, if I look at the camera straight, you will see my eyes is very rounded over here. You see the highest point over here, but like a slightly more sharp drop on either end, right? So what I like to do is make my eyes more even. So kind of lift it up visually like that. Then what I would adjust this type of eye shape is first is to apply the entire eyeliner for your waterline. Okay, I done the eyeliners for waterline for both eyes. Then I adjust the one eye. Um, as I need to look very closely to the mirror, so I will explain what I'm going to do. Then I will do it without facing the camera. Now I show you guys the difference. <laughs> what I'm going to do is to have the eyeliner overdraw a little bit from the inner corner to the highest point, but not touching the highest point. And then from out corner, overdraw a little bit towards the highest point, but not touching the highest point. Now here's the result. Can you guys see the difference? Let me zoom you in. If I look down, can you see the difference? This eye seems more overall, like this shape. This one is pretty much just round shape on my eyeball. After you win it out, this eye will actually pop out even further. Now I win it out this side. Can you see the difference? It's the smoothness of your eye shape. Should I finish one eye, then you guys can see the difference. Let's do that. So once we have the wing, we've done the eyeliner, then just add a little bit of darker color. Then I mix this two color. Follow the eyeliner. I only like uh, blending out this color just on the eyeliner. Like that. Then use the same two colors just to create like a fake eye bag. Can you see the difference? You know, creating the fake eye bag thing is very popular in China. I didn't get it to be honest, in the beginning. But now, after practice, I kind of get the meaning behind it. It, it does really emphasize your eye shape, which kind of enlarge visually, if you compare this two, right? Okay, uh, again, let me finish this eye. You see the difference. Can you see the difference? And very easy to achieve, right? Today's eye look. I highly recommend you guys to give a go this type of makeup concept like blush and eye looks like all together very easy let me do the brows and for the eyebrows although today is a like a soft blossom cherry look uh, but depends on your own face shape um, for my in particular I still need slightly sharp eyebrow shape rather than completely flat. So I will still extend my eyebrows a little bit long to kind of have a natural joint from here to here. The benefit of doing eye looks first and then do the brow is that you very easy to decide the length of your eyebrow because you kind of already know where your eye look going to finish. Then just to add a little bit of fake hair.
and control. For the control, all you need to do is just to connect the control with the blush because the blush are finished over here. So from here onwards, kind of just link them together. The whole look for today is more towards like a soft, so we don't um, particularly need too sharp contour, but still needs to have a fairly soft edge of your face will make the whole face looks um, smoother. And for the nose contour will be very soft. So use big brush, just connect the eyebrow to the high point of the nose. That's it. The difference. Let me finish the other half. Very easy to achieve, right? Especially for summertime, you know, there is nothing around to have a little bit of color on. Let me, you know, do my hair, then change your clothes, then we do the lip. The lipsticks I got too from uh, Juicy. I think this is the new lipstick. Not lipstick. It's more like a glass the rouge so more like a lip gloss but more shiny finish uh, it is their new product is oh the marketing is everywhere every time i want to scroll down the um tiktok especially just all over the places and i saw a couple of the colors was looks nice so uh yeah going to find out whether they actually look nice on me or not oh the packaging is quite cute it's like a Ooh. It's very cute. It's like a, a you know fruit candy jelly. Very nice packaging, good weight as well. And when you touch the packaging itself, the surface is very smooth. You just feel it's good quality. The color I got is 5412 and 506. Very creamy, easy to be glided on. The pigmentation looking from the swatches seems quite good. Mm. Two of them are very similar. Right? Very similar, right? I thought the 512 would be more strawberry-like, but it's not. When you really look at the details, this is a 512 and this is 506. 506 has more mocha coffee type of brown in there and this is more towards coral orange. Tiny difference and let's do 512. I think it's quite interesting. The finish is nice. It's very exactly as it's described. It's very like glossy. When you glide it on, you feel very like wet. You literally feel like ice cream start melting on your lip. That type of a feel when you glide it on. Very silky, smooth. Spread evenly because this type of lipstick sometimes can easily sink into the lines. This one this one doesn't it's an okay color it's not as surprisingly nice as it's marketed as it's advertised but it's certainly a nice color and then let's try the other one 506 mm. when you apply on the lip you see more difference this one more towards the brown I think I prefer this color. It is, it is more brown, a little bit more toffee mocha, that type of color in there. This one I feel is 
a little bit more sexy. So, what do you think? Today's whole face look is very simple, easy, straightforward, and today's makeup you can also achieve by different blush rather than eyeshadow palettes. You know, Nars has so many good blush selections, uh, Laura Mercier's as well, and also you know uh, Maybelline Fit Me. There are good collections in there. You can just use the same steps and achieve a simple beautiful summary i would still describe as natural classic makeup don't you think hope you like today's video and somehow you find it helpful if you do do click the like button and most importantly to subscribe to my channel i will see you on my next one